What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Crypto Night. I am Reminder, your host, and today we're looking at the crypto charts. Of course, my favorites, and also I will share with you the three of my favorite apps to use when buying, selling, trading crypto. So let's get started. As you can see, the king Bitcoin is on the move, which is quite interesting. Uh, it started moving around 8 o'clock. Normally, we get our pump at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 3 o'clock. For all you new people, those are the times you watch. For the most part, that's when things go crazy. And we're about to witness Bitcoin set an all-time high. Hopefully, if it doesn't get rejected right here. But we need this little pump from Bitcoin so that we can um, get this altcoin market pumping. Uh, we've had some really good action already. Uh, I want to keep going, but I want to see what Bitcoin does. It is 8.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is 3.924. And uh, as you can see, Bitcoin has a beautiful, beautiful green candle. And we're just waiting to see. It looks like it's stalled out right there. Exactly where it normally would. Just peek through it. Just peek through it. Uh, we're at six nine uh, sixty nine thousand three hundred and seventy three dollars Just flashed me so it's gonna continue All right, we are now at um, sixty nine thousand three hundred and sixty seven dollars Another flash means it continues again. Wow. Wow <laughs> Okay, got a little rejection there Past this one already past the first peak so this is a good sign for Bitcoin. Here we go again. It's attempting to cross this little resistance here. Will it do it? Oh, got rejected again. This is quite interesting that I get a chance to get this on video. And I'm quite excited because um, if this goes past all these three resistance, who knows? I mean, some of these people have been calling some real crazy prices. Um, recently, I heard a chart analyst say the possibility of $80,000 crypto, I mean, Bitcoin is possible. So I have no idea. I am not an expert when it comes to predictions. I stick to the basics. Uh, so I would say this is quite expected. Uh, not sure if it'll break all the way through um, these three. It might come back to this one here. And then it obviously got rejected already. So that was it uh, for Bitcoin. Let's start our uh, journey through my favorites, uh, Tezos. Tezos is on the way down. <laughs> Tezos uh, kind of broke through, but then got rejected coming on the way down. I don't think it's going to do nothing today. Not sure. XLM is also gotten rejected or headed on the way down. XRP has been really interesting not sure if it's ready to pop off though um, tr uh, Tron Tron fell all the way down here Tron is lost uh, well, Shiba Inu Shiba Inu shows some signs today possibility of breaking out right now are quite high uh, Neo Neo uh, had a good run yesterday but now has been rejected headed on the way down the interesting one today was Luna. Luna was up um, quite a bit today and it got rejected and there's our flash crash. Uh, don't get caught up in these for all the new people. This always happens. It goes up here and then it flash crashes. So when you see, I would say a normal, a normal time. So let's say if you want to start doing it like, like trading, quick trading, if you get a 30% rise, that should be good enough. Rarely does it go past that, unless it's like really going parabolic. I'm really looking forward to watching a God candle happen, this bull run. Who's gonna do it? I have no idea. But I believe uh, there's a high probability of uh, Luna having a God-like candle. Just because of its history, just because of all it's been through, and and how much has recovered already uh, knowing that people think that it's dead so uh gala games 
beautiful run today. Gala Games. Good job, good job. That was a beautiful candle. Uh, it was real exciting today. I was getting all kind of texts uh, to check out Luna, I mean, uh, Gala. Uh, yesterday, uh, on yesterday's video, I said somebody should kick Gala in the butt. Somebody must have done it because it took off. Beautiful, beautiful. Good job, Gala. Gala is possibly taking the lead out of all of them right now because of that massive jump. So let's see here. Flair. Flair still in the same range. But I would say, let me get closer. Look at how tight that last. Look at how tight that is. Right? So let's see. Up to Daisy. And then down. A little V at the end. I imagine that's this guy. Then that's our rest of us. We're, we're looking for a possibility of a nice pump flare. I would I think that we'll also get has a big possibility of having a god candle this run. Um that was Dash. Dash is just sitting there. <laughs> Can't get through that. It's alright, Dash. Take your time. You and OG. You ain't can't keep up with all these little new coins. They got too much energy. All right, let's see here. Casper. Casper, of course, is one of the ones that did pass it, but got rejected. Coming down and looking green. So I think Casper might get a good run tonight. I don't think I'll be sleeping tonight. Bitcoin is right back up where we left it off. Uh, let's see if it broke through that second one. I know it bumped into it. Got bumped into it, got rejected. It is 8.26 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, I imagine it's going to get a couple more shots before 9 o'clock hits. And last but not least, we got Amp. Amp had a good run for a minute, but then got rejected. You got your, your crash here. Quite normal. Nothing to worry about. I think Amp is still in the game. A lot of these are turning red for some weird reason. And I think if they, they turn red... Um, often when bitcoin takes off it's almost as if as if it starts taking off and it gives people signs of of strength and they all like pull their money from their other coins and put it into bitcoin as if you're gonna gain much from this it's a big candle if you have you know a lot of bitcoin you're happy right now but for the most part let's see what we have here this was a 1.28 percent rise so really how much can you possibly get out of that right that's not much uh, bitcoin is definitely not the place for small money big money that's good that's good for tonight they're good right but for small money i would say not a good move why pull out your other crypto when you're gonna have a better chance of making more money there and put it into bitcoin right now i wouldn't i want to say so if you're new to this Please understand that this is about percentages. Percentages. How much does it jump? It don't matter how much it costs unless it's Bitcoin because it's, what, $69,287 to get one Bitcoin. So if you have one Bitcoin and it goes up 1%, you didn't make nothing. Let's see. This guy's gonna try to pop through, but all the other ones are starting to run. And Flair. Hey, Flair. Well, hello there, buddy. What you gonna do for us tonight? You gonna give us some magic? I don't think so. Take it easy. Take it easy. I know you got a big jump ahead of you, so. Don't trip over yourself. I don't wanna see you down at what? 32. <laughs> but it did good. So. So tonight, I want to share with you guys my favorite top three uh, apps or websites that I use to buy, sell, trade crypto. You can stack on these places. This is my three favorite uh, website. And one of my, my first, my all-time favorite website is um, Uphold. Uphold. Um, has all kinds of cool features like stacking and of course you can trade they have a lot of coins um, but uh, one of my most uh, favorite features is that they have a, a card 
It's like a credit card. Not like a credit card. It's a debit card. Uh, where you put your, you choose your Bitcoin. I mean, you choose your crypto and you put it on your card and you can spend it at any gas station, any place, right? Um, in other words, you can utilize your bit, your, your crypto in any of your local stores and whatnot, funding your card with your crypto. Back in the days, they used to just choose in a, a, a wallet. Say you had XRP, for example. You would choose your XRP wallet and they would link it directly to your card and it would spend straight out of that wallet. Then they changed it and it went to um, to where you had to sell the coin and put it into uh, like a, a US dollar wallet that then would fund the card. I don't know why they did that change. I like the original one. And then they took off the cards altogether. At least mine don't work no more. And they haven't sent me my new card. So uphold, if you're watching, where's my card? Get it together, fellas. All right, next on the list, uh, I have Coinbase. Coinbase is uh, a good platform if you wanna learn about crypto. These guys pay you to learn about crypto. All you gotta do is watch videos and answer some questions and bam, they'll hook you up with some crypto. Then you can take that and trade it and do whatever. Matter of fact, some of those coins that they gave me out of from learning are making money right now, which is quite interesting. If I'd have known that, I would have put money on those coins. But you know, they're new coins. I just kind of stick to the to the ones that I know will blast off. So Coinbase to me, uh, also they have a card as well, and that's the reason why I like these 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 three for sure is because they have a debit card that you can use. You just got to put your money into a debit card from your wallets, and it's and it works great. I haven't had no trouble with any of these cards. Um, in any store they work anywhere so it's fantastic um, uh, they also have uh, stacking and things like that on this on this particular website uh, coinbase and last but not least crypto.com crypto.com are oh man they they definitely um, they definitely impressed me with the packaging for their card it was ah Nah. I don't know if they're doing it any differently now, but back then when I got my card, it was in this cool octagon-like um, hexagon or something. Log oh yeah, like the logo. The same shape, in a box. It was perfectly packaged. I really enjoyed unboxing that thing. I might still have that video. I'll upload it for you guys. But crypto.com, of course, we talking, it has a card. You can trade. I'm not sure if they could stack. I've never stacked on here. But as you can see, they have um, coins, NFTs, DeFi, and all that. So this would be uh, a great place to find coins you might not find anywhere else. But I would say these three websites uh, are normally carry the same coins. Some of them have some coins that others don't. So I always have different platforms to use because you never know sometimes these platforms especially coinbase <laughs> recently and normally around peak time when you want to sell this thing crashes i would say i would say recently for sure but it, there's always been a complaint about this particular uh app or website that it crashes when you need to sell and it just recently did it i just wanted to see my funds and there was like no funds in my wallet Scared the bejesus out of me. Then they put a, a sign saying that they're working on it. So calm me down. But I, good thing I didn't want to. I didn't have to sell. If I had to sell, and that would have happened, man. Transfer. <laughs> I would like to deduct all my amount. All right, cool. So those are my three favorite crypto um, buying and trading websites. I will put a link for every one of these in my description. So if you click on my link, it's an affiliate link. You would get a little something something for opening it through my link and i really appreciate you for doing that so let's go back through the list before we cut off for today tezos tezos still red xlm red xrp ah. let's see let's get a little closer there well hello there xrp did you just get rejected 
that looks like a Tootsie Roll. Not sure if it will continue. We might print another red one. I've got to reject it. Let's go Tezos. Tezos still got that little green bit right there. Shiba Inu. Golly. I'm thinking Shiba might go again. You know, it still has about 100 in it. 100%. Still in it to run. Uh, this is Neo. It's going positive. But, oh, guess who flashed me? Guess who flashed me? That's right. Luna Classic. I love Luna. It is... Uh, I have a thing for Luna. I wasn't, thank goodness, part of the people that lost their money in the crash. That was devastating for a lot of people. But I love the underdog story. This particular coin crashed from $107 to what you see today. Right? And it crashed because of manipulation, I would say. There was some kind of beef going on between the owner and billionaires where he challenged them to try to mess with his chain. And sure enough, don't mess with billionaires in this industry. You leave them alone, all right? Those are customers. Doofus? Well, whatever. I think that, you know, if, if we would have kept this mouth shut, this thing would still be up there. Well, at least not up there, maybe in the 100 or 50s or some 50s, right? $50 range, not down here. But that guy learned his lesson, right? He was on top of the world at the time. Now who knows where they got the poor kid buried. But uh, that's what I like about this coin. See, after that happened, everybody started talking smack about this particular project. Of course, because it took a massive fall. But interestingly enough, they all said it was dead. That it will never come up. That people are wasting their money throwing it into this project. And this does not tell me that it's dead. And this happening exactly when the other coins also crashed are, are coming back up. So, is it dead? And the question is, if it's not dead, and people with money know that it's not dead, will they put their money in this? Hmm. Will it show the world that it's not dead, but it's very much alive, and blow through this candle right here? I don't know. But I sure love a good underdog story, and I would love to see Luna Classic live up to his original name, which is Terra Luna, which stands for From Earth to the Moon in Spanish. Oh yeah, I love that. So Terra Luna, I believe in you. I hope you do great. Let's continue. We'll finish this off. Gala Games. Gala Games is green. Let me go back to the one hour because it looks red on the on the list here. Yep, it is red. Let's see how far I go. Just retracing. Just retracing. Now the question is, is it going to retrace down to here? Possibly. Needs to. Let's see what else we got here. We got Flare. Flare. Okay. Flare looking lively. Fantastic. You go, Flare. I love that little, little wick right there. I think it's going to continue. I've been waiting on that for some time. Dash is still red. Casper still red. Bitcoin's still green. Oh, Bitcoin. But as you can tell, it did got rejected. Did get rejected. So we will have to wait till 10 o'clock to do some action from Bitcoin. And all these other coins as well. Looks like the other ones that are coming back to life is Flare. Thank God, Flare. Where you been? And Luna. Yeah. Flare and Luna. At least in my list. Of course, everybody has their own list. But that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Please check out the links in the description. Get your apps. Get your money. Get ready. Get in position. Because this ride is about to get wild. This is El Minor. Until next time.